To get started with today's project, you're going to need an index card or a piece of paper or cardboard of something thicker than a copy paper material. So look for something around your house that's a little bit thicker than paper and a little bit sturdier. This is going to be your stencil. Think of an image that you want to draw and put that on your index card. Cut it out. Then trace this lightly with your pencil on your white paper. You can use any kind of white paper, and if you don't have white paper, you can use notebook paper, back of an envelope, back of a cereal box, lots of things. So take some time, trace this around your whole paper as many times as you want, and balance the space between 50% negative space and 50% positive space. Positive space is the space that we're drawing on, and negative space is the background. When you have your stencil traced on your paper, you need to break up the background into several smaller pieces to make it more manageable with your Zentangle designs. You can use a ruler and make straight lines, or you can make curved lines. You can break these up into as many spaces as your heart desires. The wonderful thing about Zentangle is there's really no right or wrong way to do it. It's whatever you want. You can make it up in the moment, or you can plan ahead. And this is the kind of style of art that works best for whatever kind of thinking you like to do. Then, work on filling each one of these areas with a Zentangle design. Make sure that you stop at the outline of your stencil. Take a look at one that I've already done. I've taken my time. I've taken my time, and I didn't extend my lines over my pencil lines for my stencil. I kept it nice and clean and then went in with an eraser afterwards to clean it up. The goal is to have your stencil pop off the paper, so make sure you keep your designs nice and tight around your stencil. And that's all. Have fun!